The Iranian government masks a corrupt dictatorship behind the false guise of a democracy. It has turned a wealthy country with a rich history and culture into an economically depleted rogue state whose chief exports are violence, bloodshed, and chaos. The longest suffering victims of Iran's leaders are, in fact, its own people. Protests erupted across Iran this week as thousands of citizens gave voice to their anger over economic stagnation and absent opportunity. Yet when it comes to US policy debates over how to respond to the protests, attitudes are split. At heart lies the question of how Iranians might receive offers of US support. To render a question from Virgil, beware the Americans, even those bearing gifts? While some, like President Trump, proudly proclaim sympathy and solidarity with the protesters, others worry that good sentiments will render bad effects. Take former Obama National Security Advisor Susan Rice, who referenced an article titled, quote, How Can Trump Help Iran's Protesters? Be Quiet, end quote. Rice and company fear that long-standing mistrust between America and Iran means that any perceived U.S. involvement in the protests will delegitimize those on the streets. 